All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praise, and honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yavashai, Bashim Rokah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And I'm um, just, just a quick in transit on speaking how, you know, uh, when these particular uh, people with fame, um, with money, people tend to listen to them more than uh, tend to listen to the men of the Lord, the prophets. Okay? The men that's out here speaking the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, um, preaching repentance to our people, you know, preaching that, you know, you, you need to return, oh, backsliding daughter uh, of Israel. Backsliding daughter of Israel, okay, daughter of Zion, which represents you Israelites. Okay, that's another title for you know uh, the Israelites. Which who are the Israelites? The Israelites consist of you so-called Negroes, uh, uh, West Indians, Haitians, so-called right? Negroes, Haitians, West Indians, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. Okay, you are the biblical Israelites, and also you other Israelites that's scattered through the four corners of the earth due to the disobedience to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's scattered amongst these different nations, and you may also look like these different nations or, or and speak the tongues of these different nations, but still, indeed, by the seed of your father, you're still Israelite. But you know, uh, our people, like I was saying, our people attend to you know listen to the people. Uh, with fame and riches more than the men of the Lord, man. Okay? And here goes scripture. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus 13. Um, Ecclesiasticus 13, verse 23, it says, When a rich man is fallen, uh, he have many helpers and speak. No, it's like it. It's verse 23. It says, When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. You see? And that's what you see have going on. Now, recently, you know, you have the passing of uh, Nipsey Hussle. Okay? And all you see is Jake posting all these different things about Nipsey Hussle. You know, what he uh, was standing for. You know, uh, what he, um, you know, uh, what he was trying to do for us, trying to help better the community. You know, how he was trying to do positivity. Uh, stop gang violence, uh, so forth and so on. You know, everything he's saying, you know, our people is hold, uh, holding it on high, you know, putting it on a pedestal, right? And uh, uh, and it, what, like it says, extolling it to the clouds, man. You know, hey, even to the point where it's higher, you know, than the words of Yahweh Bashim Yamashai, man. And it's sad, man. Okay, it's sad because you just see how Jake worshiped man. Okay. You, ha you see how they worship man, and it's disgusting, right? So it says, when a rich man speak, if every man holds his tongue and look of what he saith. So everyone, you know, uh, now are starting to see, uh, you know, going into his documentaries and his interviews and seeing what he have said and quoting his, uh, you know, different statements he was saying, which I'll say this, Nipsey Hussle, you know, did have, uh, he was an intelligent brother, I'll say that, right? And he did have wisdom, but let's get this straight. He had the wisdom of this world. Okay, he didn't have the real wisdom of knowledge, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, which is the truth and understanding of the Bible, all right. Ultimately, which you know is the word is going to help our people, okay, not building up some damn uh, community or neighborhood, you know, all those different things. No, okay, that's not going to help our people do nothing. You see, hey, look, and uh. Tulsa, Oklahoma, 19, I believe it was 1921, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey, we had all, uh, before that, before they destroyed it, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, before they destroyed it, we had everything. Okay, we had our own communities. We had uh, uh, our own, basically our own little city, so to speak. Okay, and what happened? They got thrown down. You see, because at the end of the day, we wasn't put here to, uh, to uh, you know, excel. You see, we were put here for our punishment. We were put in in captivity under Esau, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomites, we were put here for our captivity, man. Okay? Because what? You were not sold for your destruction, but you moved the most high to wrath. You see? For our wickedness, our abominations that we were doing, 
you know, our, uh, our, our idol worship, which is idolatry, spiritual fortification, okay? That's why we got put in captivities, man. That's why all the curses is upon us today, you see? But I'm using Nipsey Hussle, you know, uh, for the example, because he's the dude that Jake is going off right now, man. You know? Jake is losing a man about this Nipsey Hussle character. Now, me, I believe that Nipsey Hussle was an Israelite, okay? You know, other people don't. You know, they use the fact that, you know, he was from Entria and his father was from uh, East Africa. But like we always say, Israelites were scattered to the four corners of the earth. So his father could have been, uh, uh, could have been an Israelite. OK, but I believe, like I said, I believe he's an Israelite. You know, that's my opinion. I'm just man, you know, but whether he is or not, Nipsey Hussle wasn't teaching the truth, man. OK, I mean, he was spo exposing little different facts about uh, the so-called white man. You know, but he wasn't, come on, he really wasn't doing nothing, man. You know, he wasn't doing nothing. What was he saying uh, that can lead him to your salvation? Not a damn thing, man. Nipsey Hussle wasn't saying nothing that can lead him, uh, nothing that could lead you so, you so called Negroes, uh, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, or Native Americans to salvation, okay? None. Okay? None of the words he was speaking, he was speaking the wisdom of this world, man. Right, and, and as the scriptures say, we know the wisdom of the world is foolishness with the most high, and we'll get that. Okay, so you know everyone is is, is quoting his his statements and and, and like, oh, let's continue on his legacy. But what about Yah Bashim Yamashai, man? Okay, he wasn't teaching to fear the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and, and, and telling people to keep and repent to repent and commit, keep the commandments because he wasn't doing it his damn self. Okay, he was not doing it his damn self, and it's so funny. And I, in this spirit, I, I'm making this video, you know, because a close person to man, you know, I'm not gonna reveal who they are, but a close person to man, you know, she said, you know, uh, Nipsey Hustle, they say he's African. Well, you know, I said, well, you know, he's an Israelite, okay, it's you know, uh, they might call him African, just like they was calling us African Americans, but you know, they're Israelites, but that's too, that's too high for people, man. You know, once they see someone with uh, dark, dark skin complexion, they just assume they're African, you know. But no, man, we're the Israelites. Okay? We're the Israelites. Now, you do have Africans that's of a dark people, just like Ishmael. And, uh, and you know, a lot of the other nations, you know, was original of, of dark people, you know. And Esau is the only one running around the earth, really, truly, with no melanin. Okay? With, uh, with leprosy. But trying to stick to the point. You know, as they were saying, you know, because I said, man, you know, he ain't really know nothing, you know. Well, yeah, he was intelligent. Yeah, he was, you know, had intelligence. He had a little bit of wisdom, but like I said, he had wisdom of this world, man. And the wisdom that he was doing, the Lord don't care about that shit, man. He wasn't doing nothing to pertain it or saying anything that pertained to our people's salvation, man. To get them out of the uh, condition that they're in today. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not knocking... You know, Nipsey Hustle for us, you know, him knowing some things out here, but hey, man, that, that ain't shit, okay? If you're not teaching uh, your people, right? If you're not teaching uh, uh, your people to repent and return back to the Lord, you ain't doing shit, man. If you're not prophesying the word of y'all about you, you ain't doing nothing, man, okay? You ain't doing nothing. So as I'll read it again. Sirach 13 verse 23 says, When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speaketh, they say, What fellow is this? And if he hum and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. And that's how they look at us, man. Okay? They look at us as poor. They look at us as bums. They look at us as, as we ain't got no jobs. You know? I don't even know what makes these people assume these things, but hey, that's how they look at the men of the Lord. You know? Oh, who is this? What the hell are they talking about? You see? What, what, what could you know? You see? Hey, but you people, hey, guess what? What you don't understand is the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah is dealing with the underdogs, baby. Okay? He's dealing with the underdogs. You see? And, and, and the Lord is so bad to the point where he got you, he got you people thinking that, hey, these people with fame, uh, these, these different celebrities and these people's on the high end that uh, they are who the Lord is dealing with. <laughs> but it's not true. And I'm saying that for us, like, because you got people like T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and all that, the ones that's prospering. Our people think people like them are, are 
uh, you know, who the ones that they should look to go to, you know? Hey, but guess what? These people is leading you to destruction, man. All right? These people leading you to destruction. They teaching you to rebel against the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And you people can't even see it. You see? But, hey, these that's how these people look at us, man. You know? And guess what? They'll help overthrow us. You know? Hey, willingly. Willingly. You know, just like, uh, uh, when Pontius Pilate had, um, um, Yahweh Shai, uh, um, who should we deliver? Our people was quick to say, oh, release Barabbas, release Barabbas, man. You know? Oh, well, what should I do with Yahweh Shai? Crucify him, crucify him. So our people helped overthrow Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Same people that's trying to help overthrow the men of the Lord, the prophets. Because if it was left into their hands, hey, they, they'd kill us, man. Okay? They'd kill us. Not a shadow of a doubt about it. They'd throw it, lock us up in prison. They'll help Esau eat them. Help lock us up in prison. Lock us up in prison, right? And, 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 or, or kill us, you know? You see? So just like these people help overthrow your house, shy, they would want to help overthrow us. But let's get to the next scripture. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. 9 chapter 9 verse 16 and it says then said I wisdom is better than strength neither less the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard you see and guess what we are, we're considered poor in this world and that is true man all right we are poor man we ain't got no riches okay Come. You know, on this side, and I'm talking about for us Esau's riches, man. But hey, we got the true riches. We got the hidden riches, right? We got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, the scriptures, man. The hidden riches. You people don't have that, man. You people can't obtain that. See, you can obtain these weak, devalued FRN notes that Esau print out on a daily. But guess what? You can't attain the words of Yahweh Shemel Shah, the understanding of it, unless the Lord is dealing with you through the Holy Spirit. You see? So let's read that again. It says, Then said I, Wisdom. Uh, wisdom is better than strength. Neither less, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. You see, so our words are not heard, man. You no. Know? And, and what we say is despised amongst these people. Why? Because they can't grasp what we say, man. What we are speaking is too high for them. Okay. What we speaking is too high for these people. You see. So, uh. Let's get to this, this the next scripture, right? Um, the book of 1 Corinthians. Just lock it. The book of 1 Corinthians. Three. Chapter three, verse 19. And it says, uh, I started at 18, it says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. See, so if you think if you could proclaim to be wise in this world, you got to become a fool, man. You see, because you got to relearn everything you were taught, man. You got to be built up and rooted in the scriptures, man. There's the real, the truth, the real wisdom, the real knowledge, the real understanding, right? says let him become a fool that he may be wise man that you may be wise in what the scriptures not in this damn world man you see this world has uh, a minimum benefit you know uh, for us having the wisdom of this world you know now you know I'm not saying just you know if you do got some wisdom of this world just cast it off for as you know different jobs and stuff like that or you know degrees that you may have you know to, to, to use to make more money to benefit you at this time i'm not saying that but you know you don't don't hold it on high man okay because we know that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high man we just use it i'll say this we use it but we don't abuse it you know right? just like the scripture says use the world but don't abuse the world we just use it uh uh for our, for our daily lives man till we get the hell up out of here okay use it to the point where it may you know uh help yeah like i said help us on our, our daily lives man that's it, man. Okay? That's it. Verse 19, it says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own conceit. You see? So as, as the Lord said, man, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High, man. 
all these people with these different uh, degrees, they think they be on some type of level, man. They don't know a goddamn thing, okay? These different people that take these different IQ tests, they be thinking they on some level. Y'all don't know shit, okay? We know that them IQ tests, them is all set up, and them is all rigged by Esau system, and it don't mean nothing, okay? It don't mean nothing, you know? And going back to the point, how is that going to help save you? How is that going to help deliver you out, out of the situation you in? See? How is the wisdom of this world going to help that? It's not going to help nothing at all. You see? Hey, but the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high, man. All those college degrees you people uh, be trying to obtain or have obtained, you know? Um, you know, all the different uh, positions of, of high... Uh, rankings in, in the society so called and they ain't gonna help uh, deliver you out of this captivity you know or are they gonna help you uh, be delivered um, uh, through the catastrophic events that Yahweh Shemel Shai the wrath of Yahweh Shemel Shai is about to bring to this place nope nope you see are they gonna help you during the time of fam these the famines right the race wars the pestilences are they gonna help you no Hey, because we know what the scripture says wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. Going back to where? Going back to the scriptures, man. You see? But you got to be uh, uh, rooted. You got to be built in. You know, you got to have faith. You got to be locked in. Okay? In the spirit. Okay? To get through this, these times that's coming. And ultimately, you got to be covered by Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Because if you ain't covered, you through. Hey, you don't stand a chance if you're not covered, man. You see? So that's why you're supposed to be doing what the Lord uh, uh, wants you to do. Okay? That's to come preach the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai and to do his will. Okay? And the Lord wants his word going out. That's the work that the Lord wants. The Lord wants his word going out. Not trying to go, you know, uh, stop gang violence and, and and build up and buy up the community. No, the hell with all that, man. This place is about to be nuked. Okay? This place is about to be nuked. We ain't got time for that, man. You know? Even though, look, I'll sit like Nipsey Hussle was in, um, you know, the spirit it was in. He wasn't in the real uh, niggerish spirit when he was doing that. You know, because he was looking back and saying, you know, I got some money. I'm trying to give back. You know, but ultimately, guess what? That wasn't another Lord's plan, man. You know, that wasn't another Lord's plan. And Lord don't expect our people to be doing these things, man. Okay? This is what you're supposed, you supposed to do. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. And it reads, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right? Fear the Most High, right? Fear Yahweh, right? And keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is your duty, okay? Your duty is to fear the Most High, Yahweh, and keep His commandments. Your duty is to go out there and do the will and do the, uh, do the will of Yahweh Shem Shai. Preach and prophesy the word of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay. So his word may get out that the elect may seal. That's your duty. Okay? We ain't got time to be playing games and trying to give back to the community and doing all that. No. Nope. This place is finished, man. No, it's time for us to get the hell up out of here. So we got work to do. Not run around playing games. And the rest of you uh, Israelites that's in the industry, right? Whatever it may, may be, entertain, music, movie, no, sports, whatever. All y'all that don't return, which I highly doubt it. Okay, because well, y'all not willing to give up y'all riches to come and serve the Lord. Uh, y'all ain't doing the work of y'all by Shem Shah. Y'all gonna die here in America, Babylon the Great, along with you, your heathen oppressors that's paying you a little next to nothing. You see? But that's the point. You know, I'm pulling up the work. Um, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, I wanna say Shalom.